I realized today I will never be able to stop working and retire. I did an investment profile today for my RRSP and found out I won't be able to retire in 15 years and afford to rent an apartment. I never could afford to buy real estate. Have I had several layoffs each time the economy went into a recession? No pension. Some savings. I will need to work into my 70s or until I die. I wonder if other people are having the same revelation about retirement. I'm a millennial, but I know a few Gen X and boomers who came to the realization that they are not prepared at all for retirement. One is hoping to work until 70 give or take a few years in either direction to build up pension. Serviceable years. The other is still hoping to retire on time, even early but thinks they can do so just downsizing their house. There may be more to their situation I'm not aware of, but who knows. One option is moving somewhere with very low call when you're retired. My mom's friend retired to India. Another friend's parents retired to Thailand. There is the healthcare cost but sometimes it still financially makes sense. Have you factored everything in? CPP, OS, GIS, etc.? Can you change jobs or careers with similar skill sets? Labor shortage everywhere should be helping pay go up if you're willing to move or look at other opportunities. Are you tracking all expenses in a detailed budget? 70 seems to be the new 65. My father-in-law is in his late 60s. Just had a triple bypass and will be headed back to his dollar 20 hours retail job in a week or so. No assets. No savings. This problem for citizens of developed countries will disappear in the near to midterm future. Remote work is on the rise and even becoming the new norm for certain roles. People working in those jobs will simply move to developing nations for the high quality of life. Achievable there with a first world salary. Unfortunately this will lead to gentrification on a national scale. Residents of certain developing nations particularly those with good climate will be priced out of their cities and displaced to either rural areas or to regions with harsh climate conditions. Honestly dude, I've realized this is probably a harsh truth a lot of us facing. I'm in my late 20s and I've realized it's not worth living in Ontario or Canada. I'm now exploring my options on where to go. It's looking like the US is probably a top pick for me. I can retire at a decent age and have real estate paid off before I retire. I think a lot of young people need to consider the possibility that it might not just be worth financially living here anymore unless you make well over $200,000 a year. This is why I decided to buy a house in a LCOL area outside Edmonton. Won't take long to pay off and even if I have almost nothing when I am old I can at least live rent. Free and leverage the FVCK out of it till I croak. I was a very different person in my 20s and most of my 30s. Didn't work. Things have changed but I d never make up the lost time to invest early. It'll be fine though. House paid in 3-4 more years. Invest about 3k a month now. Add on house payments to investing soon enough. I'm 67. Retired with O's and CPP and two very small other pensions. Can't do what I wanted to do in retirement like travel but I'm making it work. Spending time with family and loving it. Well the idea of retirement was created only in the 1890s. And it is still just that for most people. Sounds like you are approximately 50? Have you looked to see what other job options are out there? 15 years is enough time to switch careers and have a partial pension anyways. Lots of good paying government jobs open right now with essentially no qualifications required. Have you tried marrying rich? I have a retirement plan. It is to rob banks. 
Either I don't get caught and have enough money to live on or I get caught and the government puts me up feeds and clothes me and I can go back to school as well. You have 15 years to start saving more now that you know what your situation will look like or extend when you retire instead of 65, now 70. Man, I feel like I'd be lucky if I lived into my 70s. I feel like you don't need a ridiculous amount of savings to survive potentially 15 years past. Working. Get a roommate. Of course difficult to find a compatible one, but it's an option. Many Canadians in this boat now thanks to our government allowing housing prices to become unacceptably high and literally the most overvalued in the world compared to local salaries and what the country has to offer. Does this sound like a first world country to you? Personally I'm a fan of home ownership not because I think equity should be used to fund retirement, but because retirement as a lifelong renter is significantly more challenging. Once you pay a home it's a yours. Rent keeps tugging at your wallet until you die. This statement is very far from the truth. I remember trying to get a pension organized when I finally made enough money to be able to afford it back in 2015-ish. And the advisor went like okay. We'll just assume you'll have a paid off home by the time you are 67 we were still renting at. The time and I went. Really? That's a big assumption. It seemed completely impossible at the time. X200B. The funny thing is that now we do own a house that should be paid down by the time I hit 67. It certainly goes a long way to easing the anxiety about paying for retirement. I just hope it'll be enough. CPPO's GIS. More there than you think. The government sends about as much in checks to seniors as it spends on health care. Retirement is for the rich. Anyone making less than $150,000 household will likely have to continue working unless they sacrifice their quality of life for their retirement. Too much boomer debt to pay off. You can grow and change. The days of having the same job all your life is long gone. Well first of all, instead of sharing your financial situation and seeking help, you come here just to complain. Seems you already accepted your fate instead of trying to do something about it. Can you move to a lower cost of living area? Get a better job? Get a roommate? Any family can help? You did an investment profile for your RRSP. What about your TFSA is that already maxed? If you have low income you should be maxing that out first. We can try to help you. But you share no information. So y'all have fun not retiring I guess. I met a substitute teacher the other day who was still working at the age of 79. Grimace. Your explanation for not having money is BC you keep getting laid off during recessions so you get A but it makes it a financial struggle for you. And we all know recessions happen. Why have you not taken action made a solution for yourself? What's holding you back from controlling your own destiny future? For millennials without a house you need to save roughly $3 million $5 million to retire. That is assuming you will be renting till death. Based on the posts that keep coming up and the inflation that's happening to be safe you probably need a little more. Maybe $5 million $6 million is a better estimate. If you own a house you could retire on almost nothing saved. Just use your house as a bank like most Canadians do. None of us will. The rich won a two-tiered society. It's really messed and it won't work. No amount of technology can sufficiently isolate them from the rest of humanity. Not even spaceships and space travel. Anyone who has ever studied history or knows anything about humanity or science knows this is utterly ridiculous. Do you know what happens when you retire boredom suicide and divorce? I never plan on retiring. I'm 36 and came to this realization today. Life of crime in your retirement age.